Ever wondered why a young girl might flash her middle finger, give you a peculiar look and then break into a smile? This is not just a random act of mischief or tomfoolery. There's a surprising complexity hidden behind this seemingly simple gesture. Welcome to the fascinating world of nonverbal communication. This is where emotions and intentions are conveyed not through words, but through subtle cues and gestures. It's an intricate dance of signals that we all engage in, often without even realizing it. And then there's the science of facial expressions. Believe it or not, there's a universal language etched on our faces, a language that transcends cultural and geographical boundaries. A smile is not just a smile. It's a powerful tool that can convey a myriad of emotions, from joy and amusement to sarcasm and defiance. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into the psychology behind this behavior. The middle finger, a universal and powerful symbol of defiance or disrespect. But what happens when it's followed by a strange look and a smile? In the realm of nonverbal communication, this particular sequence of events can be quite puzzling. To comprehend it, we must delve into the psychology behind such behavior. First, the act of showing the middle finger, historically, is considered a provocative gesture. It's a bold statement, a clear declaration of one's feelings, typically those of anger or frustration. However, context is everything. In the case of a young girl, it could potentially be a way of seeking attention or even a playful challenge. It might be her way of saying, hey, look at me. I'm not afraid to break the rules. Immediately following this, a strange look and a smile add another layer of complexity to the situation. The strange look could be a mixture of different emotions, curiosity, amusement, or even a hint of mischief. It might be a way of gauging your reaction, of seeing how you respond to her audacious display. The smile, on the other hand, is often seen as a universal sign of friendliness. In this context, it's likely an attempt to soften the impact of the initial gesture. By smiling, she's signaling that her actions were not meant to be taken seriously. It's as if she's saying, don't worry, I'm just playing around. However, it could also be a way to create a sense of mystery and intrigue. It's a juxtaposition of conflicting signals, a rude gesture followed by a friendly smile. This can leave the viewer in a state of confusion, wondering about the true intentions behind the act. In essence, this behavior could be a sign of dominance, a way of showing that she's in control of the situation, dictating how the interaction unfolds. So it's not just a random act, but a complex interplay of emotions and intentions. It's a fascinating glimpse into the human psyche and the intricate dance of nonverbal communication. Now that we understand the reasons behind this behavior, what could be its implications? Well, this seemingly simple act can have a multitude of effects on the receiver. It can spark confusion, leading to questions like, was that a friendly jest or a disrespectful jab? It could also stoke curiosity, making one wonder about the motives behind the act. Or perhaps, it might even incite amusement viewed as a quirky way of communication. The dynamics of the interaction can shift dramatically based on how the receiver interprets the gesture, the look, and the smile. That's the fascinating thing about human behavior. It's a complex language of its own, and understanding it can significantly enhance our ability to communicate interpersonally. By recognizing these subtle cues, we can navigate our social world more effectively. Remember, behind every gesture, look and smile there's a story waiting to be understood so next time look closer and you might just uncover the mystery thank for watching